The Rutland Psalter is a medieval manuscript that was written in London in 1250 and it is full of wonderful illustrations, one of which includes King David playing an organ and a small musician next to the king playing a medieval hurdy-gurdy. Now the instrument could be a small form of organistrum, but it looks to me very much like an early hurdy-gurdy and it struck me as an interesting project for reconstruction. If we take a closer look at the instrument we can see that it's a small guitar-shaped instrument with a diatonic keyboard and three strings. There of course is no um, Xi'an or trumpet on this instrument and it would just probably have one or maybe two drone strings and a simple melody. Uh, if it was an organistrum, then of course it would be playing in parallel organum and accompanying the, the plain song in the church. Nobody actually knows how it would be configured, so um, the uh, arrangement is basically up to, up to the musician. Anyway, it's bright blue and beautifully decorated in white. This is about as close as I could zoom in on the uh, illustration. Again, you can see the uh, white border around the wheel, the white border on the trefoil where the pegs are, the diatonic keyboard and the zigzag pattern on the key box lid. It is um, obviously blue and white. Uh, I don't know whether that would be the artist or whether that would be the style of the period, but it's a lovely color and I've kept that in my design. Hello, I am uh, Brian Tolley and this is the uh, instrument I've reconstructed. It's the instrument from the Rutland Psalter. Uh, as I've already said, it's got three strings, three gut strings. I have assigned two as uh, chanterelle melody strings. They're tuned in unison. They're tuned to D. And the third one is the drone string. Now, with this configuration, the melody is nice and powerful. Um, to overcome the limit of one, just one drone string, there are two capodastras added, so the drone string can be changed up one tone or up uh, to a fourth. In other words, you can play in D or E, E minor, or the Aeolian mode, or the uh, into G. So that would be, I think, Mixolydian mode. So there are several modes which can be uh, accompanied on this instrument. Now, the original, of course, as I've already mentioned, it would have been diatonic. Now this instrument has a fully chromatic keyboard. I realize that isn't exactly uh, what we've seen on the illustration, but it's a hell of a sight more practical. Um, we can play any tune on this thing. We're not limited to the diatonic keyboard. Most musicians ask me to make medieval instruments with chromatic keyboards, so that's what I've done here. This is uh, fully chromatic. Uh, another thing which people are probably going to uh, complain about is the fact that this thing doesn't have wooden tuning pegs, it has um, mechanical tuners. Uh, again, these things are far more practical than the regular traditional pegs, so um, they can be replaced, but I think you'll probably spend more time tuning the instrument than you will turning the crank. So, uh, so there. <laughs> I have nothing else to say really. The instrument is made of maple. The uh, soundboard is also maple. Um, a small guitar shaped body and a long uh, neck. In fact the, 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 sound, the string length is far longer than a regular um, soprano sized VL. It's uh, about 436 cent millimeters, I believe. A regular VL is about 330 or something like that. So it's a bit longer. Uh, probably uh, alto size. Um, there was no uh, no indication of any sort of um, bridge or tailpiece on the original uh, illustration, so I just left it off. Well, not the bridge, no, but the tailpiece. And the crank, I put a, um, a sleeve on, on the crank because it was just far too primitive without that. And that's about it, really. The, uh, the wheel cover all the decoration is painted except for the border that's been inlaid and the stain is is just a blue stain it's more or less the same color as the illustration and there is a coat of uh, matte varnish to to protect the the wood um i will do a second uh, video because i think this one's probably going to have sufficient time 
on the uh, on the YouTube. I'll do a second one to give you the the sound of the instrument. This is basically the description. So it's a medieval VL from Hurdy Gurdy from about 1250. Thank you for watching.